first thing you need to know is this what is forex trading you need to google about it and know what forex is all about the second thing is what is traded in forex you need to google, google that too and know what is being traded in forex then who is a forex broker you have to google about that then trendy trading time and trading season you need to also google about that and terminology in, in terminology used in forex when you talk about terminology you as an engineer you have your own terminology used as an engineer uh, a doctor has their own terminology and uh, forex trading has their own terminology now the sixth one is forms of trading you know you need to understand what we mean by forms of forms of trading now if you want to have a little review and a little access on this platform or a little access on this kind of thing now you have to inbox me on my whatsapp number so i will send you uh, my telegram class channel where you can get just short review on this so when you understand every single thing here then why why when you understand every single thing here then you need to follow the uh, follow my video up and i'm going to start with few things you need to understand about support and resistance then from there we kick start and go on and go on and go on so this is this first six things you need to you know read in my channel if you if you're on telegram if you're, if you're on telegram then inbox me so i'll send you where to study about this but if you already have knowledge of, about all these things and you want to start you know refresh your mind because this, this is for the newbies this is for 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 people that that starting forex this is for uh, uh, people that want to get that knowledge the basic knowledge and other things so and i'm going to also share some little things about with you guys on the video process so that is all about that and uh aside that we're gonna you know aside that we're gonna do some little you know straightforward lecture and i'm gonna show you guys some few things you know and what what and what you need to know because most of my videos i did here you know are used by with indicators and other things but i'm going to use a naked chart to teach you guys and let let, let you know what and what you need to be following you need to be following follow the trend and other things so you can be able to understand what forest trading is about so guys i think you get you guys have understood what i mean by this now go through these six like six topics i showed you guys or you inbox me i'll give you the channel where you can just little read a little review about this and then focus on the forex trading hello guys zagatech effects um in this first uh, lesson we talk about you're going to talk about uh, support so you know talk about support in forex trading and we in state by stage we continue so uh let me use this to talk about what i want to say so the first thing we need let's take a look at support what is support um support is an essentially a, a bottom the market makes you understand so when when looking at this image on my screen these marked off lines are kind of support so it's a place where a uh, price comes down bounces up comes down bounces up comes down bounces up so basically we know when you throw a football up it's going to bounce on the ground hit go up again bounce on the ground go up again it may bounce on a stone it may bounce on a wall it may bounce on any place or continue to bounce up until until the the the, the motion begins to re reduce so basically in forex trading support is where the market bounce where the price touch and bounce and, and repel touch and repel touch and repel touch and repel so here you see at this bottom line here this dashed line you see here are support areas where markets tends to hit and go up hit and go up hit and move hit and repel hit and repel as you can see in the picture below so basically it occurs in every currency pair take note of that it comes in every currency pair even if it's cfd or 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 any uh, stock or forex space it occurs every time everywhere in forex market so this is where market is being supported so we call we have this as a major level and we have this uh, we have the major support let me stay, take it like that, like that we have major support we have minor support so going to the second part of the picture i will show you guys what major and minor support is all about now this is a major support and the smaller mid, mid area you see that stick here is minor support then 
this major support which i've explained earlier is where the market symptoms to bounce off so let's assume you throw a ball up and the ball bounces up bounces on the floor went up again bounces again on the floor so understand what support it is more like a floor where the market market tends to hit and go and go off and repel hit and repel so that is what uh, uh you see that it's major support or minus my uh, minor support but basically we are looking towards the what the major support when trading forex the minor support helps you to know if the market is going to be is going to is going to you know is going to uh, move further or is going is trying to range a little before it shifts so this is basically a support level so now why do we want to know about support level basically essentially support level is where the price is being attracted and repelled which i already said earlier before so when a price is being attracted at its bottom it goes it bounces it goes off again it big it, it another floor attracts it again and it goes off again so that is essential part why we must take note of every support every support the, the price or the market makes you understand that's what called price action in any take note of every point where the market tends to you know relax and move again or or bounce and repel again we know what repelling is what i mean by repel is when you get a magnet and turn them in different opposite direction and try to bring them together that's what called repelling it repels each other it doesn't it doesn't magnet together so the market gains tends to touch that spot spot and bounces off or repel out and shift off as a ray to touch another pattern so market doesn't move in a normal straight line like you see a straight line this way market moves in that way no so market tends to you know zigzagly move around zigzagly you know bounces off and change direction you know turn different kind of patterns and all those things and move in a different uh movement moving the different uh pace thereby touching different price pattern before it goes when we talk about price touching different price or numbers we see these numbers at the right hand side here so price this uh, the market tends to touch any other for example this price here market touched it here on top again bounced re to this spot and repaired again see the price here and moved up so the market tends to have its own get a full line of support before it moves it doesn't just go straight at a at a pace no so we have to take note of that now we have to take a look at this on an actual chart now since i've explained this with a picture let's go to switch up switch into uh, uh let's switch into a chart let me close this off now this is a naked chart guys this is a naked chart so having a naked chart here we have a lot of areas of support so let's go back and see like this is a support area this is a rare support this is a support area 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 here another support area here another support area so these are full a basic support areas which we all can see here which i'm drawing my blue button you know a, a, a have area of uh, basic support and minor support areas which i showed you guys in the picture so we see the support you understand this is the area of support now what happens is that the uh, let's take a look of another support again like this one here see this it's also a support here so what happens here now the price came down repaired up came down again bounces on top of this main line again miss main price again bounces up again came down and break out through this area so i'm just going to talk about that see and broke out this area touch half another price support here bounces up again you know came down again like here again is another full let's talk, call it the support because this is more like more like a fundamental stuff that is news that had this kind of spike here so all these areas I'm, I'm showing you guys is a support area you can dictate that with your eyes like here is a support area here is a support area here is a support area now let's take now let's take a look at all this stuff here and see what it entails 
Okay, since uh, since I've talked about this support and resistance area, which I've just removed now, and let's uh, let me show you guys what we call important areas. You know, I call it important areas, which will be noted. Let me use a. Uh, okay, let me go back and show you guys. Okay, for example here, some call it consolidation, but let, I just want to show you guys what it means. So, for example, we have this area. You see, this is a support area. This is a support area. This is also a support area. Then we have a minor. Remember in the first picture, I showed you have major and minor. For example, here is a minor one. You see this one? You see this here? I don't want to I don't want to show you guys click everything. See this here minor support, support, support. This C one here is minor support, support, this are minor support. Then this, for example, now here is what we'll call major areas. When you talk about major areas, you see something like this like here you see this like here let's let me draw it like this like here so looking at this spot i see support 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 price tends to repel and come back repel and come back repel and test the area so it's been testing this price and when you check out the price the price should mean someone you, you hear people saying uh, 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 markets is is being uh, is testing the price of one so 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 and so so so, so point or give you point using the fibonacci Fibonacci level, but I'm not. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm talking about support now. So this, I call this uh, important areas of support. Important area of support. So when you watch this area now, price tend to you know get close to it. For example, now if price repaired out of it, form a lot of supports, come back again with a spike to, to test that that area again. Now went down again, again, and still the same movement again. So when you check out four hours time frame, you see the support area here, which is important areas, something like that. So no matter how the price moved, it's still going to come back. No matter how movement it is, it's going to come back. So let me not go far. So we have we have noted what our support and support areas are. We have major support. We have minor support. So I think I've you know said what support area is. We should all take note of what. Or we should all take note of that. Now, since we've not understand it, uh, what support is, remember in my first I said support is an area where market tends to bounce and repel, like bounce here, repel, bounce here and repel, bounce here and repel, bounce here and repel. We have the major support here, the minor support. So use your eyes and dictate what the major support and minor support is. A full support, a full support. We have the little minor minor support, which I've showed you guys in my first, uh, in my first picture, first and second picture I've showed you guys. So. We're going to take a look at resistance. So levels of resistance occur at the top of the price. Market will move up and then get rejected and move down. This is a level of resistance. From the old floor trader days, they used to say that the price was resisting any further profits or any more climbing by the market. That was resisting its move upwards. So we've got this area of resistance. Price is turned away. Comes back up and is turned away. Comes back up, turned away. So we have major areas of resistance where we have a very definitive place where we have a very definitive place where the market is moving up to and then turning away from moving up to and turning away from now we have something called minor levels of resistance the minor levels are uh, labeled with the red lines now these are levels that are affected by the price the price does have an effect on the market this way but it's not a huge effect it, it affects the uh, market a little bit but we can see that there is an effect. So we have these minor levels where there's not a huge movement away, but over time, if we put two, three, four, or five of these levels together, we are going to see that they become stronger and stronger. So we do want to pay attention to not just the major levels of resistance, but also the minor levels of resistance. But first of all, you want to pay attention to the major ones because that is where the market is really going to be drawn to and really going to be rejected from. These levels of resistance are very important to our trading analysis. We want to make sure that we understand where the market can potentially go. These levels of resistance are going to pull the market up towards them and then push the market down away from them. So let's take a look at this on an actual chart. So we've got an actual chart here and we can see that market moves up, comes back down, moves up, comes down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So we get this up, down, up, down. We understand that the market moves in this zigzag fashion and when it moves up, 
and gets rejected and moves down, it forms an area of resistance. Now, why are these areas important? Again, it's because the market will be affected at these areas quite often. Market will be drawn to them and market will be pushed away from them. So if I take a look at this area right here, I will draw a line right at the top and I can see that the price is being pushed away from that and that's what creates that area of resistance. The market gets pulled back into it. So it gets pulled back up to that area. And again over here, it gets pulled up into that area. It pushes through a little bit, but then comes right back down and, and is affected off of that area. Now, resistance areas are areas. They're not usually exact prices. Oftentimes, we will see that the market is affected at the exact price, but usually market is going to get through it a little bit or it won't get through it at all. It might get close to it. Let's find a better example of that. We don't usually have to look too far to find them. Now, this is a nice example because it does everything that I want it to do. So if I put my horizontal line at this area of resistance, we can see that the price is drawn to it, but doesn't quite get there. And it is still affected by that area, that general area and pushed away. And then the next time it gets to that area and pushes through just a little bit. So we are still seeing that we're being affected at that area. Again, the market is so big, there's so much money being traded that it's difficult for the market to turn on a dime, which usually gives us these windows, these support and resistance, or in this case, resistance windows. So we have this established area of resistance. The market can get close to it or it can push through it, but it's still going to be affected at these areas. Now, these are important areas to observe when we are trading, not only as support and resistance with a horizontal line like this, but we can also use trend lines. We're going to connect areas of resistance when we draw a downward sloping trend line across the top of the price. So we have an area of resistance here. We're going to connect this area of resistance and when we get a move above the trend line, we will generally see that price will want to move upwards. But this is how we form our trend lines is by looking for resistance. A downward sloping trend line is usually indicative of a market that wants to move up once the price crosses that trend line and looking for those buy trades, we're going to be looking for areas of resistance to connect so that we can draw a trend line. Uh, support can turn be turned into resistance. It's very simple. It's not going to take a while. I'll do this video bit by bit so you'll be able to understand it clearly by yourself. All right, let's dive in. So, which area of support and resistance is important is to understand that one can become another. So, what is uh, previously support can turn into resistance? Now, this example you are seeing on the screen here is a graphic of the market, just an example. So, finding the support here, price comes down and breaks through this area of the support area, then comes back to test this, resist, test it as and form the resistance. So, this is the price of a support, and market comes back to and bounces of that level. So, once this level is established. It can work for both support and resistance. So this is a full example of support turning into what a resistance. Now to clear you guys, it simply means that when market is selling at this area, it rejects a zone at this area with some patterns and market tends to go back up and forms another resistance, then comes back and break out the what the, sub, the support it has formed. Now the market comes back again to test those that the area that which it has broken and that's what we we'll call support here turning into resistance don't worry guys i will show you guys in the chat so you understand so you have a support become resistance this is the price finding what support this is where the market can to reach and bounce off you know when you throw a ball up it's going to come down bounce again and go up so when you throw the ball first time when you throw a football up and it bounced the first time it will not get to that height you threw it so the next height it will get will call resistance. When it comes back again, it may deviate or find another direction that will surpass that area it bounces before. Maybe mm -hmm. it breaks, that will call break out of that area and hit another floor or hit another pattern and go up again. So when the second, the third bounces of that ball, it will not reach the last, the second height it reached. Remember the first height you threw a ball will not be the second one it will bounce up and reach. The third one may bounce and hit. The fourth one may bounce in a very in a very um, strong area and even surpass every or the whole area. That's all. That is that is what we call bounce off. 
So market comes down to this area, bounces off, breaks through this area and make it what? A what? A resistance. So this is what the support does. The market now turns that support into what? A resistance area and breaks down. So the next one we're going to talk about is what? Resistance turning into what? Support. All right, let's move to the next slide. And um, this is an example of what? Resistance becoming what? Support. Now, price gets up to this level here, form this area rejected. So this price was rejected area. The market comes down, moves to, breaks to this level of resistance, then comes back this area and tested this resistance area, forming a support. So what was resistance what? Turns into what? Support. So as you can see now, a price coming down to this area, price coming down to this area has has something to test this on this area. So in advanced lecture, you will know what price comes to test. Price may come close, it may not reach to this support area. It may get close to this area and continue the upward movement because there is something that's what the market came to what test. We may call it, we came to mitigate what this resistance area. The same thing applicable to what? To support area. So market comes down to mitigate this area or to test this what resistance area and you know bounces off again. This is a similar example of what of what uh, resistance turning to support means. So so what was resistance can stay in resistance. What was support can stay as support, but also what was resistance can turn into support. And what was support can turn into what resistance. All right. Um, I think I've talked a little much about the support area and resistance area. So next thing now for us to see is to check it out on an actual chart. So you can, you know, take the link of this video and create an account with the broker listed listed below this video, and uh, you can proceed and download your MT4 in the demo account. All right. Let's proceed to the actual chart so you can understand what I'm talk talking about about the support and resistance area. All right. This is an actual chart. So you can see in the market. This is Euro USD on our actual chart. So let's forget about these things here. Um. Okay. Now take a look, guys. Take a look. Let me use this line uh, and draw and show you guys what support has turned into resistance. Take a look at this, guys. This is a support area. Let me start from here, guys. This is a support area. This is also what a support area. So when I draw this red line, you see, this is a support area. Market went up, come back to the support area. Now, breaks through this support area, comes back. It didn't what? It didn't get close to this support area because of what? Because of a, because of one PD array being found on this area. This will be an advanced lecture, guys. So because of a PD array found on this what area. Now. And the, the PD array is then maybe the liquidity void, guys. So, but I will talk about that in the next next lecture, advanced lecture. Now, this support area now, what what happened? Markets get close to it and turn into what a resistance area. So, this is a support. Market breaks this support and turn into what a resistance. Now, what again? And, and then the second example is what resistance turn into what support. Now, take a look. This is a resistance area. Remember, guys, I use this to show you. This is a resistance area where where market tends to touch and repel. The market breaks through that area above and turn into turned it into what support and it, it kept turning turning into, into support area. It breaks through again, went up again. So this support area turns what into resistance. Uh, this resistance area, sorry guys, resistance area turns into what support zone and the support zone here turns into resistance and resistance turns into support. This is actually what is happening in the financial market every time and every now and then. Now take a look again. The support area here, as you can see here, though we have resistance and we also have minor resistance as I said in my former video, but the major support area you see here turns into what? The uh, support here has pulled up and also used as a support, guys. So when a market breaks through this area again and moves back up, it's going to turn into support. Look at that. Look at. Let's look at another example here. Let me take this high again. Let me take this red horizontal line high. Take a look at this area, guys. You see? Now, what happened? This is a resistance area. Market what turns into turns it into what support. Resistance, resistance, resistance. Market turns into what support. Turns into support and repel. So market comes close to it and repel. Comes close to it and repel breaks towards it and bots and is 
it's market is currently at it now this h1 time frame on euro us the market is closed it's already on it that area so what are we expecting on this area are we expecting a pullback or are we expecting a pull a breakout and maybe retest and continuation this is euro usd so i'm not going to talk about that now this is just a, a lecture of what resistance turning into support and support turning into resistance all right thank you guys and god bless you what i watch out for the next lecture which we will talk about other aspect of financial markets thank you and god bless you don't forget to share this video like you know comment and you know that's it that's all people need this video to learn and you know to understand financial market at least the basics and little things to understand here and when you get to advanced level we'll keep learning together we'll keep advancing together um take a look at this system here support and resistance are areas so i'll just declare something uh, i mentioned before in the video uh, you know we have resistance resistance we have support we have support we have resistance support resistance the red mark direct the red uh, checked areas that you see as a peak here is resistance the blue ones below are the what the support you see this one is the resistance area markets made it a resistance area maybe just took it out and came back again took across it make it a support above it made it a support again this also support turns resistance, resistance turns to support and something like that. And this one doesn't quite reach to this area because there's an APD array along this zone where the market tends to what mitigate or touch before what continuation, continue the movement to take out this area. Comes back again to that same what zone. All right, let's dive into the real deal and let's talk about something about support and resistance areas. Okay, now we'll refer to support and resistance as support and resistance areas right now areas is a great description of support and resistance where the prices prices the more areas so this graph is now i'm showing you guys now is demonstrates the area scenarios guys now the first peak you see here this is area of resistance right now this one becomes established now this is what we'll call the first the first area we'll not take note of even if on the chart guys now after this we found out that the price comes down breaks through again to that resistance area and then comes back again even though it gets past it but it is still affected what by the general areas guys so i'm talking about areas here now so what happened now the market take, took it out comes back but it didn't get close to it the same thing as what the same area now the one pulls back repels back again and comes back and touches the same area and pulls out so this is a really core primary reasons or second reasons of what support and resistance areas all right so we always notice that the price will always what get close to it and push out get close to it and push out get close to it and push out and get close to it and push out all right um we know for audio i think i've you know repeated things here again and it's very clear that a layman can understand what support and resistance is all about now let's take a look at an actual chart for us to understand what support and resistance area right so let's take a look now this is an actual chart guys this is an actual chart now let me this is euro usd this is h1 time frame now when you take a look at this you see this area you see this one you see here 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 so if i get a horizontal line and put it here you can see that what market so you have an area where market tends to be what to have to be affected you see here market is being affected here you see so price as a support here price break through this is the support this is the support also uses that breaks through this is the resistance resistance breaks through again this is the support up again comes down breaks it from the support up again and we still have another one above this area guys you see have another major area here see resistance resistance support support and this is a normal what area that we have seen all right so this area 
this as this is a slightly different variation of each other you understand of the movement so but we can see that the market tends towards coming to these general regions to these regions to these areas because we're talking about areas you're not talking about support and resistance lines talking about areas where markets tend to do what tends to come come in and push out in the sense that i will explain it in a, in a layman's language for you guys to understand that for example everybody if you have a church a big church in your area a big church in your street in your, in your location and you have like ten thousand people there anybody that steps in into the gate of the gate of the church is inside the church do you get that the same body the same person will say i'm inside the church anybody that is inside the inside the church itself inside the church door i'm not talking about the gate inside the church door is also inside the church anybody is in whatever that is inside the church premises the fenced area of the church that is inside maybe at the one corner of the wall is also inside the church so if you ask someone where are you tell you i'm inside the church but i'm close to the gate i'm inside the church i'm sitting on a chair i'm inside the church i'm i'm in the restroom inside the church and um, so these the whole church is an area where some markets tend to what people come tends to come in and move out so this this is the typical example of this area we're talking about areas where, market, where we have the support and resistance where market tends to come in a little bit and pull out come in a little bit and pull out so price tends to react inside that area what i'm showing you guys here now so we have area we have support here we have resistance we have support resistance support we have resistance here too we have support 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 all these bonds all together so um so all these are regions now let me clear out this long line all right now let me draw up um drop uh, a channel for you to understand what i mean by areas guys by area now let me use uh let me use this height or this this high here or this high or i use this one here and this one here to draw out what a channel let me make it longer guys all right let me make it longer now take a look see so this are uh, let me take it backwards too let me take it to this here so this is a window all right good now when you take a look like this you will see that this is a channel window does i like to create something like this is a window wherever i notice something like this i have to create a window in a longer detail where where market tends to come in and repel so so taking a look at this now you see we have what we have market we have a support here market goes out comes into that area try to pull out goes back to that area pulls out of that repels out of that area comes back it didn't get close to it this one comes in again didn't get close to it guys so this is an area sorry guys i didn't i said i should have to take this low here sorry yeah this low here now see market comes out pull out come back to the same zone we call it sometimes we call people call it zone come that comes into that zone take breaks out of that zone comes back it didn't get close to it pulls out then comes into this zone pull back again get back to the zone again pull out this one you always forming support and resistance then gets into the zone moves out of the zone comes into the zone again out you see what is happening then pulls out of the zone again comes back down didn't get close to the zone up again the same thing from this area you see and the market is inside the zone then it takes out to this zone and from last video when you see when you check the last video i made now i told you guys this is a, a, a support area and the market tried to make use, use it as what a resistance now it has done that when you check my former video when I was talking about support turning to resist, uh, turning to resistance and resistance turning to support, you definitely, definitely understand. See this, this thing playing out. Some people trade, trade these areas. Many people trade these support and resistance areas, supply and demand areas, guys. All right. So this is an actual example of what support and resistance areas. You can still find out in other charts. You can find these areas in so many other currency pair, guys. This is USD chef, and if you take your time take a look at this you take your time you can find those areas there you can check on for our time frame or any other time frame you can be able to see these areas take a look see these areas see this area you see so these lines you see here tick lines indicates a lot a lot of things guys 
So this is an area, this support, this is resistance, resistance. So market tends to do what? If it breaks down, it's forming that it is break. If it breaks down, then it is coming towards towards this what? Some areas here, some uh, other blocks here, or some mitigation or to mitigate some uh, gaps here, and some other things. So this is the this is what we we'll call uh, areas of what support and resistance. So that is it, guys. Let me move back to my normal chart, and this is what it does: support and resistance areas. Using support as a as a stop loss, and use using the previous high as the profit, or using a resistance as a stop loss, and using the previous low as what the take profit. All right, with no further ado, let's dive into the main thing and for us to talk more on this what stuff. All right, um, let's dive into the actual stuff. As you are, you guys are seeing these pictures here. Stop loss for what sell trade. Stop loss goes just above what the high made by the market just prior to the what sell signal. All right, now let me explain. Support and resistance areas are excellent places. To put your stop loss guys now when you're in a sell trade and you want the market to drop putting your stop loss just above the what the most recent area of resistance is the safest what place to do your stop loss when the market is moving down or is trending downwards manner it is going to what make a progressively a lower high and the lower lows so which means that every every time the market was pops up it is not going to do what moves move up as high as the previous high guys so having your stop loss above this area above this level above this level in a sell position is the safest place to what to manage your risk so the only if you have this sell signal here your stop loss comes in here on the swing high you have this signal here too this is where you put your stop loss this is your sell signal this is where you put your stop loss so you don't just put your stop loss make it so tight guys you don't have to make your stop loss so tight that it will do what it will just you know take it take it out immediately so what you need to do now is to do what put your stop loss little bit above the what the swing high which is the resistance yeah. And also, you know, something applicable to your place, something applicable to this area too. So this is a sell signal where you can put your what, where you can enter your trade. As I said in the beginning of the video, you can use put your stop loss and use the lower last swing here as your take profit. So if you take, put your take profit here, this will give you at least 25 pips. You're out of the market. Don't just stay in the market if you're a scalper, if you're an intraday trader. Now another sell signal where you the signal under sell under swing and a sell signal here where you put your what uh, take profit what is below this word swing here this is a swing here so your take profit is here and this is, you have a, you have we have also a swing here too guys it says buy signal we also have a swing here so this is where you want to put your what you put your stop uh, take your take profit it's certain applicable to this area too you don't put it close to it you take it a little bit for a little bit at least three or four pips or five pips a little bit away from it and you know this is a sell signal you put your stop loss and take profit what comes to the what the last swing here first one second one you know this are still the sense of the dollar may be here or for the last take profits it's a typical example of if you are going short if you are going bearish on, on any market be it, be it on any currency pairs so any level of resistance is that is where you do what place your what stop loss now let's dive into the buy scenario now take a look at this stop loss goes just what below the low made by the what the market just prior to the what buy signal this area similarly explained in this cell one this is the buy scenario guys now for buy trade you put your stop loss here just below the words level of support something level of support level of support so for a little bit what below the what the level of support don't make it so tight here 
little bit below. Now, if you place your stop loss here, your take profit will do what? Will be the last word, will be this last previous swing here. The same thing applicable to here as I explained it before in the you know, about on the sell pattern. Take profit should be here or here. So the same thing here. So on this buy scenario, we have we have we low, higher low, higher low. So we have a low here, higher low, higher low, another higher low here too. So the market is what is bullish in nature. So even if you use your trend line, guys, it's you know you can also have a way of getting your own signals, guys. Now I think I've explained it clearly for you guys to understand about using support and resistance area to place your what to place your stop loss and also put your take profit support area. Put your stop loss a little bit away from the support area. Buy signal, your take profit should be here. You get up on the market. This one again here, boom. A buy signal, you enter a trade, you have a little drawdown, your take profit should be what? This swing high here, and the market hits it. Then another buy scenario, this one here. For example, if this one is a buy signal and you enter a trade and put your stop loss here, basically this will work, this will work, take you out. So if you win two trade and you lose one, you are still in what? In good trends, guys. So that is a typical example of what how you can enter it. And if you want to enter it, make sure you have your there's a PD arrays in these areas. This will be in the next lecture. All right, this is the typical example of what how you can place your top stop loss using resistance and support areas. Support and resistance as a target. So if you can use your support area as a target, you can use the resistance area as a target. So coming to this uh, scenario, let's uh, dive in to see how you can use it. And I will show you three of charts on how you can use support and resistance area as a target of what your take profit. All right, no problem. Let's dive into the video. All right. Um, this is a chart of what of a sig sl signal support and resistance can be used can be used as, as a target guys as well as stop loss now you are looking at this chart now this is euro jpy so let me show you guys how support can be used what as a target of a short trade now this is a signal to go short guys now here is a this is a recent support of a recent swing or recent support area and this should be your target this should, this one should be your target and this one should be your target so market support resistance levels draws the market towards each other so take a look at this section you see this is a recent level of support guys so you may tend to do what take this area as your take profit but if this is your target you shouldn't what do put your target this way because market tends to do what come close market tend, tends to get close to it without reaching it and what and continue backward movement so as as this scenario comes in guys as this scenario comes in as we have a sell signal here and the market tends to come down to what to do at uh, this support area tends to draw this draw this market towards it then your first target the market may reach here and pass surpass it but your first target as you want to place your risk is to place your stop loss above this area a little bit above this area as i said in my former video then your first target should be what this swing here. This is a swing here, guys. This is a swing. So you place your first take profit here, or you can place your second take profit at this area. But you have to draw, put it a little closer to it, or you place it here to avoid. Wow, to avoid. I didn't. I should, you should have. You should, I should have brought it close to it. Now let's take a look at this. What second scenario? As as I place this stop loss here, I need to drag it closer. What 
to its area by having these guys you see you see that so since i have put this stop loss here <coughs> we all know that the price can get close to it go beyond it so it is better safe and it's better put it in a very tight position on a very secure position so if we place our stop loss on this area this range here this range here the hill here this swing here so the market comes down to this area and you have to take go for your take profit if it passes that passes it over you wait for what you wait for what for another bullish position or what for another bullish another buy position so as you can see now as you have entered here let me move back again and show you what i'm trying to say so this is a sell signal guys market you target this below this place or here as you take profits and that as the market comes down guys so the trend comes down comes down to this area remember that this is a it's in an area a swing here too you know that remember that this is there's a swing here so market gets towards it and reacted you know pull back and continue what they are trend so if you place your take profit towards this area guys as i said earlier you may have you and you you, you may be taking out from the part of the market in profit guys so the market also reached to go towards that area will what with a spike so it's better what you do your take profit within this range of what a swing you have here and most of all call this pattern what a w pattern so i don't want to move into patterns so this is a w pattern higher high higher high then don't, let's not go to go into that now this is what this i'm on topic of what support and resistance area as what as a target <coughs> so this this you you all can see how well it is played so in this case the price moved beyond it guys so now let's take a look at a buy scenario So, take a look at this. Level of recent what resistance? You see, so we we'll, this has a formed what as a level of what resistance. Now we target a few pips at this area. Now we have a buy signal at this area. You know, so remember we have a sell signal here, and this is the what a buy signal. So this is the most recent area of resistance. So if you are targeting this area, is it that we target a middle of this area or this swing here? So or target this area or target this halo or target this resistance, but not above it, but little what in between of this area. So this should be a long trade on one hour time one in our time frame. And what happens next? Your stop loss should be what below here, guys. You see, so even target your stop loss below this area. What happens? Market words as the trade plays out, it targets that level easily and do what and took the level out and pushed out. So we don't know if the market is going to get you know. Re push back from this area or you know coming out of this area so if we are going long like this guys your target should be what the previous swing high or previous resistance or previous support area guys will also some people call it what supply and demand position so this is just a typical example of how it works so taking a look take a look at this is forms what this is also a w formation and this is also what a w what mission here of targeting the what the previous resistance area this one also target what a previous support area here targets a previous resistance area so this is a typical example of what using support and resistance as a target of your take profit in the financial markets all right i think i'm done for this, this is a very short class and it's, it is well explained and if you have any question don't forget to comment Click the link below this video to join the Telegram channel. 
don't forget to subscribe share this video give me a thumbs up click on the bell i uh, bell, bell icon over there in your screen and wait for the next lecture to come in we'll keep learning we'll keep growing we'll keep trading so thank you guys and god bless you this is what explained clearly last number but not the least this is resistance area this is support area if you're going short if you have a signal here a sell signal here and you're going short your target should be what the previous what support area here again if you're going bullish if you are going if you're buying and if you're going long if you, if you have your sell signal appears the first step your target take profit what should be what the previous swing high or, or the resistance area thank you and god bless you like a tech effects signing off bye for now Thank you.